What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Layout video for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about some tips for working with camera views and viewports inside of SketchUp and Layout. So this is probably one of the areas where I see people struggle the most when trying to create documents in Layout. So I wanted to go through some of the common things that people struggle with and some tips on how to solve those issues. So today's video is brought to you by my brand new course, the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture. The SketchUp Essentials for Architecture is a course that I created to give you a start to finish resource on, on how to create professional looking plans inside of layout from your SketchUp models. So this course is going to be a complete step-by-step -step guide of everything from setting up your model, making sure your settings are right, and then taking all of those settings into layout and showing you exactly how to create different kinds of plans. If that's something you're interested in, the course is open for enrollment through next Wednesday, October 9th at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. So uh, if you're interested in more information about that, you can check it out at the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture.com. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, model credit for the model that we're using. This is House by Paul Wall. Now you may have a little bit of trouble finding this because he has a lot of models named House, but if you look under Paul Wall, you can either go find this or he has a bunch of other houses that have been modeled in the same way. So if you want to download this and follow along, this is available on the 3D warehouse. All right, so one of the things that's really important when you're setting up your views to take into layout is to turn off perspective. So I've created a scene with a section cut through this building that's going to show us the floor plan. I'm just going to go to my view and turn my section planes off. One thing you're going to notice about this view is it's not actually flat or straight up and down like we want in a plan view. So if you look at these walls, you can see you can see how even though we have the flat portion of our walls right here, they're still Still going towards a vanishing point. And so not only does this not look very good, it becomes problematic when we go over into layout. So the problem with this is if we bring this viewport into layout and we try to create a drawing from it, you can't actually set a scale on this drawing. And the reason for that is because this is set up with perspective view on, meaning scales don't work. However, if you go into SketchUp and you go to camera, parallel projection, what you can do is you can put this camera in parallel projection mode. That means that this is no longer displayed with your walls going off to a vanishing point. This is actually a straight up and down view. Well, now if I update this scene and I save my model, and then we go over into layout and we right click on this and we update our model reference, you can see how this scene is going to update so that it's in parallel projection mode based on what we did with that scene over in SketchUp. And so what that means is now we can come in here and we can set an actual scale to this viewport. So we can actually give this a scale um, inside of our viewport, meaning we can create a scale drawing from it, which we can then use to create our different construction documents. Tip number two has to do with working with your viewports inside of layout. And so if I go into layout and I click the drop down here and I adjust this scale to something like 3 8 of an inch, um, this fits pretty well on my page. But what I want to do is I want to resize this viewport a little bit so it's not taking up so much space. And so if you look over in the right hand side, there's a box for preserve scale on resize. And this box is really important because if you uncheck this box, so if this box isn't checked inside of your model, so if you click and drag on the corner like this and that box for preserve scale on resize isn't checked, that means that this is actually changing the scale of the viewport that you've brought in, meaning you're no longer to scale or at least not the selected scale based on this dropdown. You are to a scale, but you can see how it's not the 3 8 of an inch equals a foot that I selected before. So instead, what you want to do is you want to set your scale, but then you want to check this box for preserve scale on resize. Now, if I click and drag on the corner, you can see how this resizes my viewport box inside of layout, but it doesn't rescale my drawing, meaning when I move this around, I'm not losing my scale because you really don't want to lose your scale when you're working in here every time you make a change. So make sure you're paying attention to this box being checked and whenever you want to resize your viewport, just make sure that the box for preserve scale on resize has been checked. All right, so tip number three has to do with something that a lot of people find really frustrating. So if you've ever had your viewports in layout jump around, there's a reason for that and it has to do with camera misalignment. 
And so what we do in order to set up our views or our viewports inside of layout is we create scenes showing the information that we want to show. Well, one of the things people aren't aware of is sometimes these camera views get misaligned. So you can see how when I click between these two, you can see how my model moves around. Well, what that means is that means that my camera views are misaligned inside of SketchUp. The problem with that is now if we export these to layout as viewports, um, you're going to have to come in and do manual alignment of your viewports. So let's say I was to come in here and we'll just duplicate this sheet for right now. And let's say I was to take this and I was to set this up with my second scene. So my second scene is my scene with the white background. It's still to this scale. And so if you remember, one of the ways that we manage things like line weights inside of layout is we stack different viewports together. So what we would do is we would take this viewport and we would copy it and then we would just do an edit paste and there's a better way to do this we'll talk about in another tip but we would paste this viewport on top of this other viewport so now we have two viewports stacked together well the problem with that is our cameras aren't aligned so for this viewport if I was to click this drop down and set that to my scene 3 you can see how now my edges don't align from one viewport to the other. You can see how everything's kind of moved around in here. Well, the problem with that is now you have to come in here and you have to manually realign these. So I would drag the little crosshair here and I would click and drag this down in order to align this, but that's a whole lot of extra work. And the problem is you just deal with camera views moving around all the time. And so one of the other things that people struggle with as a part of this is sometimes they'll accidentally move a camera view. So let's say for example that I move this to the side just a little bit and then I updated it and I saved my model. Well, the problem with that is now I've taken my camera view that I created in SketchUp and I changed it and then I updated this. Well, you don't want to do that because now if I go into layout and I update my model reference, so if I just come in here and update the whole thing, the problem is your line weight's gonna jump. Well, the reason your line weight jumped is because you changed your camera inside of SketchUp. And so I wanna show you a quick, easy way to not have that problem. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna come in here and you can see how right now, if I click between these two scenes, my camera moves around. Well, since these are both views of the same level, one has my line work on it and one has my raster image on it, the problem with this right now is they have different camera views. Well, what I want to do is I want to update my scene so that they have the same camera view. So the easiest way to do this is to click on the scene with the camera view you want. So in this situation, my color plan view is going to have the camera view that I want. Well, now that I've clicked on that scene, I'm going to go over and click on my other scene that has the wrong camera view. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to camera we're going to click on the button for previous and what that's going to do is that's going to cycle us back to the last camera view that we had active. Well, the last camera view that we had active was the one in scene two. And so we want to go ahead and we want to right click on our scene and we want to update this. Now, if I click back and forth between these, you can see how they're no longer moving around because they have the same camera location. So now if I do a file save, and then I go back into layout, I may have to re-add this viewport. And so I'm gonna update my model reference to make sure that I've picked up my changes. And then I'm just gonna select this viewport and I'm gonna do an edit copy and an edit paste. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna paste this layer um, or this viewport right on top of the other one. Well, now if I click the drop down and set this to scene three, and let's say I was to set this to vector rendering so that I get my uh, nice line weights in here. Um, you can see how now those views are completely aligned. So I have one viewport right on top of the other and they're completely aligned. And the reason for that is because our camera views have the, or our scenes have the exact same camera views inside of SketchUp. So you can check this by clicking back and forth between the scenes and making sure that your camera isn't moving around. If your camera isn't moving around, then everything should be aligned and you should be good to go. All right, so tip number four is I wanna talk about the correct way or the easy way to add viewports inside of layout. Because what happens a lot of the time, and if you remember we did this right here, um, what'll happen a lot of the time is people will wanna bring in another viewport. So right now I only have a single viewport in here and we're gonna make sure that this is on the proper layer. So I have a floor plan viewport layer. 
So a lot of the time what people do if they want to add a new viewport is they'll do what we did in the previous example. They'll do an edit copy and edit paste in order to create a second viewport on here. So that is definitely one way that you can do that. But the problem with that is now if you start clicking in here, you have to start right clicking on your different um, layers to move things to different layers. And you have to worry about accidentally picking up and changing the wrong layer. So this is something I struggled with a lot when I originally started working in layout. So let's say that I wanted to take this viewport, right click on it and move it to my floor plan line work layer. Well, sometimes what will happen is you'll accidentally pick up the wrong viewport or things are no longer stacked up and down the way that you want them to be. It's just not a very precise way to do things. So doing a copy paste isn't a very precise way to do things and holding control to make a copy and then dragging it back is also not a very precise way to create copies. What we want to do instead, and I'm going to start with a single viewport. So the way, the way that we want to make our copy of this viewport is we want to single click on it and then right click to copy it. But before we hit paste, we want to do a couple things. So the first thing I want to do is I've already selected my floor plan viewport. I've copied it and I know that my existing viewport is on this floor plan viewport layer. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my layer section. I'm going to click on the button for lock. So what that means is now I can't accidentally move around that floor plan viewport that I copied. So now I can't accidentally paste this to the wrong layer and I can't accidentally move this around. So that's step one. Step two is we're going to select the layer that we want to put our new viewport on. In this situation, that's going to be my floor plan line work layer. So I'm just going to click on that. And then when I paste this, instead of selecting the option for paste, what I want to do is I want to select the option for paste to current layer. So what that does is that gives me control over what layer this viewport gets pasted onto. So that means I'm not accidentally going to paste this on some other layer. I know that this is going to go on my floor plan line work viewport. So if I click on this, I know that this has gone on my floor plan line work viewport. And I can check that by turning off my old viewport and looking at this new one. And this shows up a little bit better when we adjust our scene. So I've pasted this on my floor plan line work layer. I'm just going to right click on this and I'm going to select my scene that contains my line work. And then now if I turn off my floor plan viewport, you can see how that is definitely on the correct layer. If I turn off my line work, you can see how that's definitely on the on the correct layer as well. And so this also means that I won't accidentally select the wrong viewport. So I can't come in here and select my floor plan viewport that's in the background. I can only select the one that's on the line work layer because that's the one that's unlocked. Well, what that means is I can work with confidence knowing that I'm editing the correct layer. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to select this. We're going to change it to a vector view. And then we're going to set our line scale up to one. So we're going to make our lines thicker. Maybe I'm going to set that up to two. So that way I've got the thicker lines in here. And there are some things I'd want to do with my line work. But you can see how this, this really gives you control over those viewports. And plus you never had to move anything around and realign it because we just copied it in place. And then we did an edit and we pasted it in place. So you don't have to worry about going back through and realigning different viewports and things like that. And then finally, the last tip that's really important that's going to make your life a whole lot easier kind of builds off of the tip that we just talked about, which is lock your viewports. And what that means is one of the more frustrating things that can happen inside of layout is it's really easy to pick something up while you're dragging your mouse around and accidentally move it. So like for example, if I accidentally select my line work layer and then I click off into space like this, I can still accidentally move that around. And what happens is you get a lot of accidental misalignment or movement of things that you don't want to move. And then you have to go in here, especially if you forget to undo it and you have to realign things and make things line back up. And it's just not a very precise way of doing things. Well, my recommendation is once you get a viewport, like your floor plan set, come in here and click this lock button. So if you click the lock button, that means you can't accidentally pick things up like I did right here with my line work. And so my recommendation is once you have something set and in place, lock it. So now my floor plan line work and my floor plan viewport are both locked. That means I can't accidentally move them around anymore and make my line 
my lines and my walls not line up by accidentally moving things. And so this is the same thing for the stuff on your on every page layer. So things like your title block and uh, your borders, if you have any of those. Once you have those set, click this lock button because what that's going to do is that's going to make it where you can't accidentally pick things up and move them around which when I got started with layout was probably the biggest thing I struggled with was the accidental movement of things inside of my models. So lock your viewports once you have them placed so that you can't accidentally move things. And so I wanted to wrap this video up with a question, which is what is the biggest thing you struggle with when working with your cameras and viewports inside of layout? So if you're interested in learning a complete start to finish workflow for creating professional looking construction documents from your SketchUp models in layout, make sure you check out my new course, The SketchUp Essentials for Architecture. You can find more information about that at the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture.com. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video video. Thanks guys.